Hi survivors, this is me Prepresent reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world, obviously, obviously it's not. Um, today, y'all, it's another, it's going to be Sense of Urgencies um, videos probably for the next couple of days, or probably for the next <laughs> week or so. Um, as we hearing, as we're hearing and we're seeing how these things are panning out, um, overseas and what's going on here we cannot forget and not get so distracted even all these other things y'all the, the, these are major things for us to be paying attention to but we cannot ignore what's going on here because what's going on here we have to keep up with so we can survive domestically um but time is seriously running out time is seriously running out like i just told y'all the last couple of videos I don't trust these people, and I know a lot of you don't neither. You know, they just cannot be trusted. My spirit, it's a very unsettling feeling, y'all. And most of y'all that's been following me for a long time know my spirit. Never steer me wrong. When I get to feeling certain ways and certain things, it always come to light. And I'm having a strange, strange feeling about what's going on. And then I've been watching some other channels and videos and people are talking about allegedly nuclear attacks and that's something else that I'm feeling in my spirit and that is something that's very hard to survive you we can survive it but you have to be knowledgeable on what to do I'm going to make a video um on what you can do to prepare for it and what to do in the event it occurs because uh, we know that there's been a nasty agenda. Everybody's starting to, a lot of people are starting to wake up to see what's going on. Because uh, I think a lot of people was under some kind of bad spell. Because to me, it's been plain for the eyes to see and ears to hear, you know, what's been going on. I've been picking up on a lot of stuff since 2020, being honest with you. And now it, it becomes more and more uh, apparent to me, especially with these people that's, supposed to be in charge now you got to follow what i'm saying y'all because i have to be very very precautious of what i'm saying and how i'm saying it y'all time is running out it's, it's seriously truly is and god forbid if there's a nuclear attack y'all can forget about food if you don't already have some stored up because that type of exposure to everything around it is immediately done with you're talking about no more crops, that's it. Everything. So, and then we have the American Freedom Conv Convoy coming up. I think, I believe they're supposed to start it uh, on March 1st, but some people are saying they're supposed to start it tomorrow. But uh, from what I was hearing, it's supposed to start March 1st. But when those truckers go, go to uh, doing that convoy here in America, that's going to also uh, affect the supply chain. It's going to affect the product, uh, the availability of products, uh right now that we may can have access to so while you can if you try to get as much as you can and also equally important or if not more importantly start growing your gardens right in your house if you have to in your yard but i would say in your house right now for for, for everything what's going on you know Make sure that you can make sure that yourself that you can eat and your family can eat without having to depend on the system. So time is running out, y'all, for all of us to be able to get the things that we need. I know also um, there's also certain things that you would need other than just ISAT tablets in the case of a, a nuclear uh, event, you know, um, to be able to be fully covered. I don't know if that hazmat suit, yeah. But um, and a certain kind of mask, eyes need to be protected. <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to make a, a video uh, of it. And you have to know exactly what to do. We all need to know exactly what to do. I don't put nothing past these people that's in charge right now, allegedly. It's, it's, it's just it's, it's not feeling good to me. Um, and, and we've already been seeing what they've been doing. Everything they've been doing to me has been been very questionable it doesn't make any sense and then I was looking at the news this is everywhere I go y'all that know me been following me for a long time y'all know I travel all throughout the United States and everywhere I go on um, in these cities 
in different states, the crime is bad. And all these systems, especially in these democratic cities and states, they have some type of thing where they are releasing the worst criminals into the community. And these people are repeated and repeated offenders. And they're going out here and they're still committing serious crimes, murders, rapes, and all these things. And they're still not in jail. Y'all can't tell me this stuff is not a setup to destroy this country, allegedly. And destroy our lives. And it seemed like it continued with all these bad things back to back to back to back. To, to further affect our immune system. Because all this stuff is stressful. That's why I say do what you have to do to become strong physically, mentally, and spiritually. Because these are attacks against our health and our mental health. And I see some of y'all, a lot of y'all panicking, a lot of us, you know. But I calm myself down because I refuse to let them have me that way. And that's why preparing and prepping is so very important. Don't let them do you like that. It's, real, it's very mind-boggling. It can be very, very stressful. But calm yourself down and just do what you got to do. Get what you got to get. And stack it up. I'm serious, y'all. Because time is running out. Before you know it, it's not going to be anything in those stores. And then when the SHTF, we're already living in the SHTF, but I'm talking about severely all those sheep. They're going to be running, trying to get everything they can. A lot of them are going to be stealing. Because right about now and moving forward, people can't afford to even buy this food. Now, y'all commanding thief, allegedly. Let me shut up before I get myself in trouble. Or the one who be over there lying all the time. Use, I told y'all they was going to do this. Use this thing that's going on over there in Russia and Ukraine as a reason why they're going to increase the prices on everything. I told y'all this is a part of the agenda. They want all this stuff to happen. They say, you know, and fighting for freedom, you know, if we're going to pay a price, the gas price, the gas prices are going to increase. What freedom are you fighting for? We ain't been free since you've been an officer with your mandates and with you letting all these people over here that's sick and who are criminals and killers with y'all releasing all these, uh, the worst criminals uh, from the jail back to the streets. And they further committing crimes. With us not being able to, to have the things that we need and you increasing the prices on everything. So what freedom are you fighting for, sir? Stop lying so much, sir. Because you're lying. This is a part of your agenda. Allegedly. Y'all go out there and get what you need. And um, I'm telling you, I'm going to make a couple more videos um, to do what I have to do towards for this community in regards to getting us all prepared for what lies ahead. And then I'm going to be releasing videos from my library. I have videos in my library I have saved that will continue to help you in your areas of survivalism because I got to get prepared. I got to get back to Texas and I got to hunker down and I got to get in low areas. And, and get in bunkers and basements. Because so I'm telling you, I feel some. I feel some strong, y'all. And I know a lot of you do too. Time is running out. You better do what you got to do to get what you got to get what you and your family need. And, and, and get it together. Watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Purify your water before you use it and keep surviving. 